Hey everybody, welcome to another War Thunder Pilot video. This is Worcestershire, and today I'm going to talk about how to win arcade matches and why you should care about it. So, why should you care about winning? Because when you win a match, you get a reward in the form of plus 100% research points and plus 47% Silver Lions. Winning matches will help you research vehicle modifications faster, and over time, you will see your Silver Lions increase. The one question I get asked the most is, how did you get so many Silver Lions? Well, one of the main reasons is because I win a lot of arcade matches. So how do you win arcade matches? I'm gonna start by giving you some of my general tips, and then I'll give you my tips on how to win the different types of arcade matches. My number one tip is focus on the objective. Duh. Every arcade match, there's at least one primary objective that your team must achieve in order to win the match. Sometimes that's killing enemy ground targets, sometimes that's capturing airfields, and sometimes it is killing enemy planes. I'll cover objectives in more detail later on in the video. My second tip is fly with others that will help you win. If you're flying solo, focusing on the objective will help you get more wins. But if you really want to win consistently, you need to fly with others that also focus on the objective. My overall win rate in Air Arcade is usually between 75 and 80%, and probably the biggest reason because I fly regularly with other people who also like to win. My third tip, which is related to the last one, is get on voice comms. Talk to me, Goose. Roger. Being able to talk directly with your teammates makes a pretty significant difference. It allows you to coordinate your attacks so that you're not wasting time by going after the same targets. Or you could warn your teammate about an enemy plane approaching that maybe they didn't see. My fourth tip is have a well-balanced lineup. Try to have at least six crew slots and fill those slots with a good balance of planes, a good mix of fighters, bombers and ground strike planes so that no matter what type of arcade match you find yourself in, you can still help go after the objective. Alright, those are my general tips for how to win air arcade matches. Now let's go over each of the arcade game modes and how to win those. The first air arcade game type I want to cover is ground strike. As the name suggests, the primary objective here is to kill enemy ground targets. Usually, the ground targets that will count towards the win are flashing red like the ones you see ahead of me here. It's a good idea to start off in a plane that can carry bombs and go after heavier targets that can't be killed with guns, like medium tanks, heavy tanks, and pillboxes. Destroying enemy bases can help you win in a ground strike, but generally, the fastest way to win is to focus on destroying ground targets. Don't worry too much about dying. Uh, you will get shot down because you're at low altitude and you're focused on the ground targets. If that happens, just jump in another plane that can carry bombs, especially if you still have heavy ground targets left. If you can get three or four or more ground targets per plane, you really increase your chances of winning. When it looks like you have all or most of the heavy targets destroyed, then you can jump in a fighter, get some air kills, and uh, if it's close, you can use that fighter to destroy the light ground targets with your guns. And if you're in a squad, try to coordinate with your teammates as to which ground targets you're going to focus on so you're, you're not hitting the same ones. Okay, that's it for ground strike. The next game mode I'll take a look at is front line. Just like with Ground Strike, the best way to ensure winning in a front line is to focus on destroying enemy ground targets. Start with a plane that can carry some bombs and try to get heavier ground targets first like pillboxes and heavy tanks. And remember only to focus on destroying ground targets that are flashing red. Because on some frontline maps like this one, which is African Canyon, there are ground targets like light machine guns that don't count. And just like with ground strike, destroying enemy bases can help you win, 
but your main priority should be enemy ground targets. It's good to have at least two or three planes that can carry bombs in your lineup. There are a ton of ground targets in front lines, and if you get shot down, you want to be able to just jump in another plane that can carry bombs and keep going. If you don't have any planes left that can carry bombs, jump in a fighter and just focus on either killing enemies that are going after our ground targets or use your guns to take out light enemy ground targets like artillery and AA. Okay, next I'll take a look at domination. There are two basic types of domination matches. First, I want to look at is airfield domination. The main objective in airfield domination is to capture the airfields and prevent the enemy from capturing them. On most airfield domination maps, there are AI ground units moving towards the airfield. And if they make it to the airfield, they will capture it. And if there's even one enemy tank sitting on the airfield, it will prevent your team from capturing them. So make sure you eliminate those as soon as you can. To capture an airfield, you need to land on it. You don't need to come to a complete stop. You just need to have your wheels on the ground long enough for you to capture that point. Just make sure you're not coming in too fast or too steep of an angle or you might tear your landing gear off and crash. Airfield Domination is one of my favorite game modes in War Thunder because you can spend the majority of your time in a fighter and get lots of air kills. Okay, now the final game mode I want to talk about is what I like to call Air Domination. It's one of my favorite game modes because you can spend the whole time in fighter and just dogfighting and going for air kills. The objective in this game mode is to capture a designated airspace. And to capture it, only your team members can be in that designated airspace and no enemies. You can see the designated airspace by the circular shaded area on the mini-map. But it's really a cylindrical shape. It starts at about 3,000 feet and has a ceiling at about 15,000 feet roughly. So you want to make sure that you stay within the designated airspace in order to capture it. The best way to check and see that you're in that designated airspace is to look at the little letter A that's right underneath the ticket bars at the top. And if it has four little white carrots on the corners, that means you're within the airspace. And the other way to win this game mode is to get air kills. Every time an enemy plane is shot down, they lose tickets. And so, of course, if you kill enough of them, they could lose all their tickets and you win. Well, that is it for this video. Hopefully, you can use this information to go out there and start winning more arcade matches. If you do, you will see that your research grind will be a little less painful and you'll start accumulating more silver lions. Thanks for watching everybody. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a like. Let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Take it easy everyone, I'll see you in the next video.